know what to do Apple here from the bottom to the top Android uh, go ahead and do that right now before we get started welcome welcome to the replay everybody all right all right all right good morning good morning a rainy day here in Houston Texas this little old cast and little rain Right, good morning, good morning, good morning, Sister Niambe. Assalamu alaikum, thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. All right, Aaron, thank you for coming on. Let's share, you guys, let's share, let's get it up. Good morning. All good. Security is be advised to try to be monitored by live video surveillance. Time is now 10.59 a.m., thank you. All right, all right, let's go ahead and share. Let's go ahead and share, everybody. Come on early to give you time to share, all right? We'll give you time to share the stream and get your guests on before we get started. Before we get started, so. All right, thank you, Sister Niambe. Thank you for sharing. Need for everybody to share, everybody to share. Today is Tactical Tuesdays. Tactical Tuesdays where you get steps. All right, not just concepts, but you get steps, some things to do. All right, Living Chic, welcome. Good morning. Thanks for restreaming. Re Thank you so very much. Thank you so very much, you guys. Let's get this count up. Let's get it up, you guys. Let's get it up. Hopefully everything's uh, technically fine over there at Meerkat, I mean at Periscope. I see the numbers keep on dropping. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to get started here in about one minute or less. One minute or less. Let's go ahead and get that periscope count up. Let's get the periscope count up. All right, thank you for the hearts. All right, as you come on, let us know uh, your name, which city you're from. All right, we like to practice good social media etiquette. Right, let folks know who you are and where you're from, all right? We're going to cover this information real quick and then we're going to open up for questions and answers. We need for everybody to restream, everybody to share, all right? Everybody to restream and everybody to share. All right, Aaron, thanks a lot. All right, all right. CR, CR, hey, CR, he, 23. We need for you to share. All right, thank you so very much. All hands on deck. All hands on deck. Hey, smoking cowgirl, let us know where you're from. Let us know who you are and where you're from, and go ahead and share this stream. If this is your first time putting new, so our regular uh, attendees can, can show you some love and welcome you to the money game. This is where you learn the rules to win at the money game by learning the rules. This is why Donald Trump has gotten so much, uh, you know, support, all right? Here's the reason why I think Donald Trump is gotten so much before because people are tired of, 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 of what they call it career politicians people are tired of politicians that they're voting for that's supposed to represent them but they only represent the lobbyists they only represent the multinational corporations which is not ever hardly in the best interest of the people that's what they're tired of and here's a lesson that we should learn and it fits the money game live stream perfectly the reason why, and Donald Trump has told you, the reason why he can say what he wants to say, any kind of way he want to say it, he's not, uh, 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 you know, accountable to anybody, brothers and sisters, and here's the point. Here's the tip. Thank you, Gene. It's because he's self-funded. Because he has his own money that he's putting up. That's called a hint, brothers and sisters. If you want to be free, to be able to say what you want to say, do what you want to do, then you have to create your own income. You have to be able to make your own money. You have to be what they call call, which is not accurate, but so we can understand, you have to be quote unquote self-made. A corporation is not making you. See, he has said that over and over and over again during his campaign and during the debates. I finance myself. I don't have lobbyists in my pocket. So if he says that, and what does that say about all the other 
politicians. That's why our black politicians can't do anything but window dress for us because they are bought and sold by the same corporations, by the same lobbyists. All right. Donald Trump is the new breed. Donald Trump is letting you and I know if you and I want to be free, it's not how much money you got. Jeb Bush, when he was in the race, he outspent Donald Trump six to one in some states. See, so we going after who got the most money. How can I make the most money? And the enemy knows that. So he gives you a lot of money and he makes you a slave. Right. He makes you a slave. He makes you a slave. All right. So you don't want to do that. That's not going to be to our salvation. Right. That's not going to be to our success. That's not going to be to our freedom. See, you have to know the rules of the money game to win and stop playing by these rules that give us everything but the very thing that we need. And that's freedom and independence. You get popularity. You'll get money. You'll get notoriety. You'll be invited to the White House. You'll be invited to the White House. All right? You'll be invited to the White House. See, that's what you'll do. So that's why we have to learn the money game to win by playing the rules that the winners play by. Not sometime, not when we like it, not when it feels good, but every time. All right? Every time. So I wanted to share with you, brothers and sisters, here are the five steps, the five simple steps, right? Some of us got that two-step mastered, right? Swing out and all that stuff. We got that mastered. So let's add three more steps, right, to the two steps, right? So get ready. Write these down. Uh, Sister Niambe or somebody, Aaron, get ready to put these in the live feed. So number one is the most important one. Number one, brother and sister, you have to manage your finances. Number one, manage your finances. And that's where it all starts because then that's going to determine, right, your relationship you have with your money, right? When you, when you look at your money, do you look at it and say, oh, man, that ain't the man. I ain't making no money. This ain't no money. Or do you look at it and say, man, I'm balling. Thank you very much. I'm balling. I'm balling, man. I'm doing good, man. I'm balling. I got bank, man. I got cake. See, so what do you tell yourself? When you manage your finances, when you look at your finances, brothers and sisters, what do you say yourself? What kind of internal dialogue takes place? And that's what we covered yesterday about programming, reprogramming your mind, right? You have to know on a monthly basis, right? Monthly basis. On a monthly basis, you have to know where your money is coming in from and where it's going. Every month. I know, I know, I know. You have the job, they pay you a certain amount, you know what it is every month, but you still have to go through that step. You know, one of the things that I heard uh, my mentor, Holton Bugs, say, he says, you have to master the mon mundane. You have to master the mundane. I mean, you have to master the easy things that are boring. Master them. So as they had, there's no emotional sting on them. You're not saying, oh man, I'm tired of doing this. You just do it out of habit. You do it because you're disciplined and you understand that this is the pathway to my success. This is the pathway to where I want to go. And to the extent that I can master it will, will assure my accomplishment. All right. So number one, manage your finances. And here's the thing. You have to know where every dollar is going. Every dollar. It's easy to identify the car note and the rent or mortgage and the water bill, the light bill. But that's not where we lose our money. We lose our money. We lose. We miscount or lose our money on miscellaneous items. Miscellaneous items. Now, for those of you who went to Dar who, who was, who's on our VIP list, we're going to have a special webinar where I go delve deep down into this and I give you some tips and some tricks to use for each one of these steps. All right. But the miscellaneous items is little small stuff. Like how many times you stop and get a soda? How many times you stop to Starbucks? How many times you go to Panera Bread and how much you spend on lunch? How much you spend on dinner, right? And how much you spend, how about this, on NSF fees at the bank, right? How much you spend on ATM fees at the bank, 
using the ATM. See, these little things, these little things. See, America and, and merchants are smart. They know that they can get rich by getting a nickel from, uh, you know, three, four, five million people. And you're not gonna miss a nickel. What's a nickel, right? What's five dollars? So they say, you want insurance on your phone? Five dollars. You want the call ID, but you can see the person that's, that where they're calling from and who they are on your phone when they call? That's two dollars extra a month. Oh, that's two dollars, go ahead and put that on. Oh, five dollars, go ahead and put that on, right? I just got a new tablet from T-Mobile, right? They give you the tablet for free if you buy the, the uh, data plan, which is only $10 a month. So I said, go ahead, I'll get it, right? Now I thought about it, and I thought about it, and I purchased it with something specific in mind. I purchased it because I needed another device for my broadcasting, right? Just like I have a device now, my cell phone is doing the, uh, the mirror cap, right? While this is, my tablet is doing the periscope. So I can get another one where I can do uh, 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 Facebook Live, right? Or another one where I can do Blab simultaneously. Blab is more interactive, so it won't work like this. But I can do uh, uh, a Facebook Live. Have three platforms streaming at the same time. See, that's not multitasking, right? That's multi-delivery on one task. All right, so you have to know miscellaneous. So you have to write it down. And here's a trick that I'll share with I'll share with you real quick. All right, here's what you have to do. It's kind of windy out here. Um, keep all your receipts. I don't care what it is. You go buy soda from the corner store. Ask for a receipt. Ask for a receipt and just put them in your pocket. Put them in your pocket and just stack them up on your on your counter on your dresser, like I do. Just let them pile up. So you get sick and tired of them being there and then you sit down and you go through them and you'll see man I went to Redbox I went to Redbox five times this month right so manage step number one manage your finance step number two is you have to find a way to reduce your expenses find a way number two reduce your expenses right can we take pictures or hard copies yeah, brother, whatever works. Just make it happen. Right? Okay? So, number two is reduce expenses. Reduce expenses. And I know some of us will say, oh, well, I'm, shit, I'm, I'm living from paycheck to paycheck. I ain't got no money. And that may be the case. But when you do step number one, then you'll see that you have money, but you're spending it all. You have money, but you're letting it get away. Right? It's slipping through your fingers. And if that's not the case, then... There's something else you need to do, right? But I'm sure there's always a case because, see, what we think are necessities in America are not necessities. There's luxuries. Here's another tip I share with you that I'll give you more of these tips when we have a, a private webinar on it. But reduce some of your expenses, right? Cut out some of your, uh, your, your cell phone plan. Reduce your data plan from unlimited to a couple of megabytes or gigabytes or whatever it is, right? Get rid of that insurance on your phone for a month, right? That's what I did. I'm like, what's this on my bill? Oh, that's your insurance. Okay, how eight dollars a month? Get that off of there, right? You're learning how to free up cash. And let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. It's a discipline. It's a discipline, right? Because if you can free up cash, guess what else you can free up? You can free up time that you're wasting. And guess what else you can free up? You can free up energy that you're wasting. <clears throat> but if you have the mindset. But well, I don't have no money to free up. I ain't got no time. You know, then 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 you're self-defeating. So so it's a mute point. You're just wasting your time being here. All right. This message, brothers and sisters, if you like it, go to DarylMuhammad.net. DarylMuhammad.net. Hit one of the uh, blog posts and hit subscribe and fill in your information, and you'll be on a private VIP list where we're building a community of individuals that want to take action. Thank you, Aaron, that want to take action. Oh, on that note, I want to make a mental mental note here. Let me publicly apologize to Simon. If anybody knows Simon, a couple of broadcast Simon wanted to know about gold, and I sent them to my website and said the link was there for him to get more information about gold. I want to publicly apologize to Simon because that, that post, that banner, that advertisement was not there. I added it last night. It was not there. 
So I want to apologize, be man enough to apologize publicly to Aaron. If anybody knows Aaron, please let him know that I apologize to him publicly for, for telling him that it was there and just go find it and figure it out, all right? And it wasn't, all right? But go to DarylMuhammad.net. Do you teach internet marketing? Uh, yes, I do. So save your questions for the end, all right? So so uh, go to DarylMuhammad.net. I put some books there. Some of you guys saw uh, these cards. I talked about these cards, these affirmation, maybe they're mindset cards. I put a link on the front page of my website where you can go ahead and click it and order that uh, because that's helping with your with your programming, all right? Your reprogramming, all right? So that's number two, expenses, all right? Now here's the goal, brother. Says that here is the goal, right? You may not can reach it, but here's the goal. You want to get to the point where you're living off of 80% of your total income. That's what you bring home, not gross, but net, right? So what you bring in through the front doors, live off of 80% and the other 20% goes to you investing in you and investing in charity, right? And your mosque or your or your church, right? Or something that you believe in. The 80-20 rule. And then the goal is to get the 70-30. 70-30, right? Just, I mean, we always use uh, Warren Buffett and Bill Gates. What about Bob Johnson? A brother used to own BET. How about Oprah? Right? All right. That's good. How about Oprah? You know, do you think she lives off of 100% of what she brings in? She might, but I doubt it. You know, because once you start playing by these rules to win, brothers and sisters, and not to lose, after a while, your money accelerates. Right? How much money you make is accelerates. It takes on a life of its own if you do it right. And then you, you can't outpace it. You can, but that, that won't be healthy. <laughs> you know? Then you're not playing to win. You're playing now to start losing. So if you play it right, it's going to outpace and outrace your ability or your desire to spend. All right? So that's number two. So here's what you want to do. The goal is 80, 20, 70, 30. And the goal is also to save, immediately find 50 bucks, $75, $100, $120, $200, $250, 250 250 you have to find that it's there i'm convinced if we went over if i went over your all your expenses i can find anywhere from a 50 to 100 to 200 dollars because every time i do it i find some money that's slipping through the cracks all right so that's number two number three is invest in yourself monthly brothers and sisters this is the five step the five steps to winning at the money game all right so you have to invest in yourself every month. Uh-oh, almost lost you, Meerkat. Every month, every month, every month. We're going to go another five minutes, and then we'll open up for questions, and then you can ask about that internet. All right? So uh, you must invest. So as you free up $50, as you free up $100, as you free up $200, right? And this is monthly. Right? If you if you continue to do what you did to free it up every month, that's extra money monthly. Invest it in yourself Monday. Books, tapes, seminars, live events every month. Every month. There is no excuse, brothers and sisters, not to invest in yourself every month. Stop using money as an excuse for everything. Stop using, I don't have no money. I don't, stop saying that. See, you're, that's an affirmation that you've said over and over again, and you believe it, right? Remember we said programming, thoughts, feelings, actions, results. So that's why your condition never changes. Stop saying that. The first thing you have to do is break the dialogue. Interrupt. They call it in science a conscious interrupt. Conscious interrupt. All right. So invest in yourself, but since you have to, if you're not investing in yourself, you're not playing to win. That's just the bottom line. And here's what you need to do. You need to start off with books and audio, books and or audios. All right. And here's what you need to do. Don't read them. Don't read them. What? Daryl, wait a minute. Now I'm all confused. See, that's a conscious interrupt. Right. Wait a minute. Don't read them. No, don't read them. I don't want you to read them. Buy them, but don't read them. Right? Walaikum salam. Buy them, but don't read them. Wait a minute, Daryl. Buy them, but don't read them. Yeah. Buy them and don't read them. Take them from me. Person that reads all the time. 
You don't don't buy them and read them. Buy them and study them. Buy them and study them. Get in student mode and don't get out. Don't ever get out. No matter if you're in a position, all right? No matter if you're in position to lead people, always let your greatest posture be a student. This is what I used to tell some of my people in the private, elusive, exclusive uh, Facebook group that we have, Black Wealth Empowerment. I tell them, um, be an A student and a C follower. Be an A student or in a C follower. Be an A student and a C, I'm sorry, yeah, be in, in an A leader. Got distracted there. Be a C, somebody put that in there. Be a, be a A follower or be a A student. Be an A student and a C leader. Be an A student and a C leader. All right? But, the, but it's flips. We do the opposite, right? We learn a little bit and we quickly get in the leadership mode. Try, try, start trying to teach everybody, tell everybody like we the expert. And we get out of student mode. Or it's very small. All right? A student and a C leader. Thank you so very much, Ms. Niambe. So invest in yourself every month in books primarily, books primarily, and audio. And don't read them, study them. And here's, you want to you wanna get information that's going to give you better understanding, right? Better understanding of the money game, how to win at the money game, the rules to win. And we're just here to prick your conscience, right? We're here to get you started, to push you along your way, to put you, push you point you in the right direction but it's you that has to go out and figure it out and make it happen on your own right and study them invest in books and study them don't read them study them okay so that's what you want to do invest in yourself so invest in understanding how to play the rules how to play the rules to win and then secondly hey brazil and then secondly you want to start studying different opportunities Start studying different investment opportunities. All right? That's step number three. Number four is you need to, we all need to increase our income. Increase your income by studying and understanding the money game, opportunities, or start opening up the kind of opportunities that we're looking for. And those are what? Residual income opportunities. Residual income opportunity. Put Somebody put that down there. Residual income opportunities. Right, you might have to go get another job to free to create some cash or generate some money to to invest in yourself. That's okay, right? But that's not a uh, ends all to be all, right? So you got to understand it's residual income opportunities. See, not any any, any opportunities. You specifically define it as what you're looking for. Residual income opportunities. So when somebody brings you stuff, hey man, you make a lot of money, you're not judging it, good or bad, is this residual income opportunity. That's what you ask yourself, right? And I'm at the point now, brothers and sisters, if it's not residual income opportunity, I'm really not interested. Yeah, but you can make $100,000. I'm not interested. I'm not interested, right? I'm not interested. I already got things in place that requires my time. I am looking for residual income opportunities. You bring that to me, you, then you then you have a chance of getting my ear. All right. So the goal once again is to get to 70/30, and then is residual income. That's step number four. Residual income opportunities. You'll discover those in step number what three when you invest in yourself, start understanding the money game, the rules to win, right? And you also start studying. You start studying. Uh, you start studying um, investment opportunities, residual income opportunities. You start looking at those network marketing, real estate. You know, uh, uh, buy into a business, help you know somebody raise money to finance a business that they're starting. Okay, and the sky is the limit. You know, you really want to start balling. You can start uh, uh, investing in oil oil well drilling see i'm in texas right there's a company a brother at a company that been calling me for for a while probably six months ever since i heard about it and i went to their website and put in my information he's been calling right he's been calling because it you know because they drill in oil 
drill in oil, okay? So brothers and sisters, now the fifth step is, right? The fifth step is, and you find it on the on the back of your shampoo uh, and conditioner bottle. What does it say? Step number five, rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat, all right? So step number five is go through all those previous four steps over and over and over again, and then you'll be so, so good, right? Your, 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 your senses will be so keen, unbelievably clean, uh, uh, keen to where, as you know, you're just seeing opportunities everywhere. You're just learning from every opportunity, right? You, 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 your mind is now clicking before you even spin, you know, on a soda or a juice, right? Or another bottle of water, right? Your mind start clicking. Wait a minute. Shoot, that's $5. But I can go buy another book. Through Daryl's website, through DarylMuhammad.net, hit more, hit, hit book list. I can go. I can hit one. Get one of those books for five dollars. I think this only costs eleven dollars. Plus what? Three ninety nine shipping and handling, right? Right. So those are the five steps. That's the five step, brothers and sisters. You can swing out, right? <laughs> right. Like you do the two step, right? But those are the five steps. <coughs> if we follow those five steps, we'll be on the right road to winning at the money game. Hashtag black dollars, hashtag black wealth, hashtag black economy. That's what we're about. We're about empowering ourselves, right? For ourselves, our family, but most importantly, our community. Brothers and sisters, we have to be like Donald Trump, right? Find a way to get access, direct access to income. Direct access, not through a job, not through a beneficent a uh, white person, philanthropist, not, no, no, we have to start learning, and those of us, it just takes, it's not, you know, the big boy's not going to do it, because they already bought into that other, that other business model, right, there's not enough of us that are buying in to the independent business model, go out there in real estate, go out there in network marketing, go out there in traditional business, stop opening up one place, look at franchising your business, Looking at, you know, buying up and get other people in the game. Stop being selfish and get other people in the game. You know, nobody you like, nobody you love enough to tap them on the shoulder and say, hey, man, come to check this out. I want, I want you to get in on this. That's what they do. That's what they do all the time. That's why these politicians behind the scene is almost like uh, uh, they're wrestling, right? I know a professional wrestler, Booker T, you know, a friend of mine. It's just like that. They don't really, they sometimes they hate each other because I think he told me the time, he did tell me the time when he beat up, uh, beat, what his name? Whatever name, whatever the guy's name is. But anyway, but that's staged. <laughs> My point is, they hate each other on the stage and in the back they laughing and asking each other how your children and all this other kind of stuff. Right? It's just staged. Some of them do hate each other, but for the most part it's staged on the state capitol and I mean they're around there fighting for bills and turn around patting each other on the back <laughs> we need those of us and I'm looking for those of us that want to go out here right and, and jockey for elbow space in this free economy called capitalism and, and go in there and compete against everybody that's in our community sucking our community uh, dry economically see who ain't nobody bold enough to do that Right? Who's bold enough to do that? Sisters with, with the hair salon, brothers with the barbershop, but other folks not in that area. Just us. All right? So that's our message for the day, the five steps. Brothers and sisters, go ahead and put some music to it. Right? And, and go ahead and do the five steps. And let's start winning at this money game. So that's our message for the day. Any questions? Who had that question about internet? Go ahead and ask that again. What is your question about internet? All right? Go to my website. It's on the cover, on the front page of my website, DarylMuhammad.net. You need to get these cards. I've been having them since 2007. Powerful, powerful, powerful cards. All right? And read as many as you can per day. You know, it probably only take about, I don't know, probably only take about five seconds. Right? Look, only take five seconds to read this card and then flip it on the back. Right? How long it takes to read that? And you read it a couple of times, not just once, right? Study it. Look at it, right? Let it marinate in your spirit. 
right? Let it marinate in your spirit. Money is a spirit. <laughs> we'll save that for another live stream. Any questions, brothers and sisters? Any questions? We want to encourage you to swipe and follow. We want to encourage you to, um, to share it. Watch it again later on today. Study it and share it. Right. This energy and energy is a spirit. Energy you can't see. In its, in, its, in its form, you only see energy when it's manifested in something physical. But in the pure, in the, in the pure uh, uh, form of energy, it's formless. All right? All right? So that's what it's about, brother. Says, any question? I guess the person left about the question with the internet, huh? Yes, I'm from Houston, Texas. I'm in Houston, Texas. All right? I guess if they don't get their questions answered right away, they leave. <laughs> well, that's not a rule to win at the money game. But internet, yeah, internet marketing, uh, brothers and sisters, you know, bottom line is if you're in business and you're not, you know, on the internet learning how to use the internet, you know, then you're, you're, you're a dinosaur waiting to die, right? You're a dinosaur waiting to die. You cannot be in business and you don't understand and you're not in the process of mastering internet marketing, mastering internet marketing. It's, I mean, you're a dinosaur. You're about to die, right? So that's what I would say about internet marketing. And learn how what the pros do. Don't do what everybody else does, right? And I told you that. What is affiliate marketing? Affiliate marketing, we should meet up and share knowledge. We're sharing knowledge right now. We don't have to meet up. You can reach out to me on my website and we can talk on the phone. Right? And that's a good lesson. When you're in a pursuit of a mentor or a coach, particularly a highly successful mentor, brothers and sisters, you have to understand, they just don't meet up just to meet up. Not when there's more efficient forms of communication. Right? Master the efficient forms of communication. Utilize those first and then it will warrant an in-person meeting, right? Because very successful people or people in pursuit to, to, uh, uh, to be very, very successful, they don't have time to just meet up. Hey, let's get together. You do that socially, but not professionally, right? You do that socially, not professionally. So you have to qualify yourself. You have to earn the right for a, a busy person's time. Not so busy, busy person's time is a person that understand their value and the greatest asset is time. Not energy so much, but time. Because if you're out of energy, you can just go lay down, take a rest, right? And come up rejuvenated. But you need time to do that. All right? So you reach out to me, DarylMuhammad.net, hit contact me, and, uh, and we'll talk on the phone, right? You don't have to get in person to share. All right, so that's a lesson. So affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is where you're selling someone else's products or services, products or services, and you're getting paid a commission for it. So it's direct sales is basically what it is, right? But you sell a person's product or service, you're an affiliate of them, and they pay you a commission uh, for each and every sale. Different from network marketing. Network marketing is affiliate marketing, but you build a team and you get paid from your activity and the team's activity. All right. So that's the difference between affiliate marketing and network marketing. Now they have, you know, different variations and combinations of two to where they say they're not network marketing, but you do you do build a team uh, and that kind of stuff. All right. But they still call themselves affiliate affiliates and uh, David Woods is one and I'm a part of his system so just understand the difference between what affiliate marketing is what it truly is all right any other questions if not we'll go all right any other question meerkat any questions over there meerkat you guys can ask questions over there meerkat Kirk 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 this stand Kirk the stand that's over there somewhere over there in the Another part of the country. I'm going to have to look that one up. Living Chic, thank you so very much for being here. So, Matt, thank you for being here. I have to go into a meeting. All right, thank you, Sister Nyambe. It's getting... It's It's got to be Junior. Hey, good morning. Over there, Meerkat. Living Chic, as always. And who is this? Salah. 
Suleiman, Suleiman F. Thank you for being here with us today over there at Meerkat. All right, brothers and sisters, so no other questions. Thank you for being here. DarylMuhammad.net. If you like this message and you want to do something, you want to put your money where your mouth is, right? You want to put your money where your mouth is. You want to put your energy where your mouth is. And you want to put your time where your mouth is. Then I'm looking for those kind of people. If that's not you, if you don't have all three of those uh, interests, then thank you very much. Just keep on showing up these live streams. But if you do, go to DarylMuhammad.net. Hit one of the pod, uh, one of the posts. And at the bottom it says subscribe to get on our VIP list. And stay tuned for some emails. You're going to start getting a series of emails on uh, our live events and some other things we're doing. But go and pick up your affirmation cards today at DarylMuhammad.net, bottom right-hand corner. So without any, anything else, brothers and sisters, thanks for being here. Hashtag black dollars. Hashtag black economy. Hashtag black wealth. Not just for yourself. That's selfish. Not just for your family. That's even more selfish. But for our suffering black community. I see you at the top. Not from the top because you, your family, but most importantly, our black community deserves your very best. All right, here comes the fire truck, and here I go. Take care, everybody. God bless. All right, Mayor Catters, thank you for being here. Hopefully, we